glad to welcome everybody, and I'm glad to see that everybody's tuned in tonight. I hope you're going to enjoy our show. We have a great show for you. And before we get started, I'd like to bring out my best friend and buddy, Mr. Phil. Hey, Phil, how are you? Hey, Mary. Yeah. Everybody's been waiting to see you, so how yeah. are you feeling today, and how, how are things going? I'm doing good. Here goes that. So, what's well, well, let's see. What, what's been new since the last time that we were on the air? We went to a mixer, was it? That, that was that was that when we went to the mixer and we were able to get a few more people? To yes, come we on went our to the show. mixer, got a few more people to come on the show. That's what we did. So our, our future shows are getting very well booked up. So hopefully you'll all tune in and catch all the talent that we've seen and right. we want to bring to you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, over at MNN uh, and in Brooklyn, uh, we're going to bring our shows for the rest of the season there and we're going to be have our shows over there uh, in place all the way to the end of the year. Right. And we have been renewed in both places yep. for the thank following you, year. Thank you, Brother. Thanks, Eminem. Thanks, Britt. Thank you. So that we can get our show out to as many people as we possibly can. It means a lot for us to be able to get this our, our young talent, even if we have older talent, like us. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, <laughs> to speaking, get older of, talent. speaking of older talent, uh, they put somebody uh, who's older, this man, on uh, The Voice this week. This, uh, the Voice yes, started I think this week. Yes, they did name it. Apparently, he didn't need it, but yes, they did. They put an older older gentleman through, which, keep rocking, man. I hope you get. I hope you go real far. Yes. And we're going to be rooting for you. Yes, we will be. And, uh, and we'd also like to say congratulations to... Um, Oh, the little girl that just won the America's Got Talent. Yeah, to Grace. Gr Grace uh, Vanderwall. Uh, congratulations, Grace. You did a great job on the show. Um, I feel like we're kind of still local because we're New Yorkers as well. We're in Orange County, though, when we film. Uh, I know that you're down in, uh, in Suffern, Suffern, Suffern and Rockland County. County. Right. But people all around the United States know who Grace is now. Yes, they are, and she's doing very, very well. I, I, I mean, think our she's going to do wonderfully. And uh, one of these days, if Phil and I get lucky enough, we are going to try out for The Voice as well. Yes, we are. In the meantime... Well, uh, another exciting thing we did this week. Yes. We had Port Jervis. It's a small city up here in Orange County. Um, they had a food drive. Yes, they did. And also bands played that day. So my husband and I are a duo, and we debuted in front of an audience. Uh, we debuted our duo in front of the audience, which was really a lot, a lot of fun. Yes. Um, you didn't even get to see us because you weren't here, but I didn't get to tell you. I have a CD, and in the car when we go home, you can hear what we did. Wow. Because I had my husband put it on yeah. the computer and then take the music and put it on the CD. Yes, and then I came along later on and I performed and, and then, Mary backed me up and I want to say, yeah. wow, people people loved us. Yeah, and I, I mean, got to sing twice. I was lucky. Yes, she did. <laughs> and we're going to, uh, when we do our album, we're even going to redo our songs with that I've done before with Mary mm -hmm. harmonizing this. I'm gonna tell you what she adds into these songs. Wow, uh, it's beautiful. It's always it's always nice to have a second voice yeah. in there and uh, to have something else. I mean, my favorite type of types of groups and my favorite types of music that I like to listen to. Um, number one, I like acapella. I love acapella. I mean, yes. I had that acapella group. The, the, those guys, the four or five guys that were on uh, America's Got Talent, as far as they went, I was real excited. Yeah, them, right. Because, I mean, you know, that is, it's not an easy chore, let me tell you. It's not easy, and for everybody to be on key and not have music to listen to mm -hmm. to make sure you're there. But 
I'm also able to harmonize. It's just a natural thing that I'm able to yes. do. I just was lucky enough to be able to be able to pick up harmonies. And so when Phil gets up and he sings, you know, it's nice to have somebody to back you up at a little dimension. My favorite types of groups have um, harmonies. You know, you've got the Eagles, you've got Simon and Garfunkel, you've got Hall mm. and Oates. I mean, these are all great people yeah. who have great harmonies. Right. And they that it means a lot to those songs. It really does. Other than just somebody singing by themselves. Oh, definitely. I mean, singing by yourself is a hard enough job. Yes. It, it really is. In fact, if you remember, uh, on American Idol, back in the old days, you had to do it. The initial auditions, a cappella. Mm -hmm. That was the only way they did it in the old and days. For anyone who's not sure what a cappella means, a cappella means without music. You're just standing there by yourself and you just sing. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it takes a lot of nerve, <laughs> but that's okay. There's a lot of people out there with a lot of nerve. Yeah. So. There was a group. There's a group called the Shallows. It's an oldies group. I don't. I don't know if I've heard of them. Yeah, they played in uh, downtown Middletown at the Square a few times. And they're a local. They're local, yeah, and they okay. they do uh, all a cappella. Ah, I, I would love to. I would love to see them. We used to have a group in Peekskill where I grew up, Peekskill, New York. Hi, everybody in Peekskill. I don't know <laughs> if you get to see us or not, but we had a, a group in there also. Um, I can't remember what they called themselves. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. But my parents grew up with them, and uh, these guys have been singing and playing, and it was, you know, nice to have a hometown yes. group. Yes, it is. That, you know, every time you go to a an event, you know these hometown people. Right. Speaking and of peak skill, you know, I've been getting uh, different open mic notices. They have an open mic in peak skill, and I was thinking of us going down there sometime. Actually, we must. Yes. We must. That's where my family is. Yes. Um, we, we should definitely find out when it's going to be. Yes. And, and do that. Yeah. And uh, we'll record, but whatever we do, we record, and then maybe we can play snippets of it on our show for you guys. Yeah. Anybody, all of our friends that are in New York City, um, we want you to be able to see what, what we're seeing up here, you know, in the sticks, as you guys would call it. <laughs> now, Orange County, I guess, is the sticks to you guys in New York City. You know, <laughs> I understand that. I'm a girl from Westchester. I, I, I know. Um, so yeah, even from Westchester to here, it's, it's just, you know, we're not, Middletown's not rural, but there are so many rural places around us. Yes. I mean, we live like in the center of Middletown, you know, in the center here, but everything around us. Yeah. I mean, it's all very rural <laughs> and gee, I mean, what we think of as, to us is big. Yeah. People that come from the city up to where we are, yeah. to them, what we see as normal as be being town yeah. is like Mayberry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then if they were to go up even further, with it, you know, what we, what we would call country, that's yeah. the wilderness. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's you know, <laughs> it's all relative, is what I'm, I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I would, I would love to advertise that. Mary Frost sings Returns to Peekskill. Yeah, that would be... You know, to house. Well, actually, Ken and I have come up with a name. Now, anybody... Okay, I, this is a challenge I would like to put out there to anybody who knows this name. China Pier. Mm -hmm. China Pier is a place. I want people to write, write to me. My email address is always put on the screen because I always ask for your feedback, and if you get a chance, send me a letter, I'll send you something back. I'll probably even read it on the screen on TV the next week. And uh, if you know what China Pier is, let me know if you know what that is. But that is the name of our duo. So when my husband and I perform, we will be going under the name China Pier. And you can look for that, look on posters, if you see something as, especially Veterans Affairs, we're mm -hmm. doing a lot of veterans. Oh, yeah, we are. 
Bill and I are currently involved with the veteran, the VFW from Greenville, New yes. York. Mm -hmm. They are kind enough to have us every third Saturday. Whatever they run, you know, when they next run one's karaoke. October 15th, but they have us as their main headliners. Right, and we're trying to help them boost their membership. So if anybody's going to be up this, this way and want to find out where it is and stop them, if they're doing their karaoke night, yeah. or if you're someone local from our Port Jervis area, or Middletown, or Greenville, anywhere around there, um, it's open to the public. And we would love to meet a lot of people. Yes, we would. We would love to meet you and have you come in. And there's a chance, you know, we may do a duet with you or something. That, that would That's be a right. lot of fun. We like because we like love to meet new people all the time. Oh yeah. We're always walking around looking. Oh, do we know you? <laughs> yeah, we know you. Hey, hi, how are you? Yeah. How about the how about the holiday is? But that's become Friday night. We after this show, we go to the holiday and and what that's become for us. That has become a really big party for us. Yes, it really is. Um, our friend Elba is the DJ, and uh, we have quite a crowd of people that come in there and we all sing great singers come in there and we all have such a good time right so when we wrap up and leave you we're going over there we're going down to Middletown and we're going to Holiday Inn on Crystal, on, on Crystal Run Road and they consider us the celebrities there pretty much yes yeah, yeah I mean, they look at when we walk in there you know we walk in the party starts the party starts yeah yes and what's funny is even people who just like staying for the weekend or staying overnight there, they hear us and they right away, boom. Yep, and we get, you know, we get a lot of people. And so we're trying to do what we can and bring, uh, bring the public out, you know? Yeah, right. Bring so the we public out. Um, and again, like I said, one of our, our main things is, is Veterans Affairs. Uh, so if you've seen the Veterans Affairs going on and you know they want talent, write to me, let me know. Even if it's, it, it's volunteer, most of it. That, that's terrific. We don't mind volunteering for that at all. Right. Uh, that is something that, that our hearts totally are into. Yes. My husband as well, because trying to appear will play anywhere for any veteran. Right. Any veteran's event. Uh, event mm -hmm. Just let us know. Yeah. And again, if you send to, to me something in my email, mm -hmm. all right, or uh, post a note on my Right. Facebook page or Phil's Facebook page. Yes. We also had a Mr. Phil Show Facebook page. Right. And now there's also a China Pier Facebook page. Wow. So there's a lot of places where everybody can look us up. Yes, right. Now, tonight we have a young lady that's going to come and sing with us. And she's been on the show before. Yeah, she was on the show. Yeah, she was on, uh, you know, with Laurie Mantia mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. uh, last year. Oh, that's, you know, and I'm excited. I'm excited about that because I want to see what she does. I want to see what some kind of stuff. And I, I'm excited always to, to meet new people and right. see new talent. And, yeah. you know, the premise of our show is that they, they bring their own songs. It's all originals. So right. everything you see, these people have done they, themselves. Yeah, you know, we it would be beautiful. If we could shot, start a show, reality show, you know, called, let's say, Original Idols or something like that. <laughs> yeah. and people just doing original music and stuff like that. If we could get something like a contest with judges and all that. that would, can you imagine that? Yeah, yeah. You know, see who's the most original, who has the best original yes. music or something like that. Maybe we could do like some kind of Orange County thing and... You know, so we'll, we'll do it on our show or something. Yeah, try something like that. We'll and then have to give that a thought. And yeah, yeah, give that a thought and then go, you know, bigger and bigger, you know. That's it. We'll start out in Orange County. Right. And we'll branch out to New York State. Yes. And we'll, we'll see about that. Maybe um. we'll reach out to Simon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. See if he wants to be a judge for us. Yeah, right. Um, but before anybody else sings, we always have our own Mr. Phil, mm -hmm. sing us our first song. Okay. And what are you going to sing tonight? She'll be mine. She'll be mine. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, 
your friend, Mr. Phil. Okay. Take one. Okay. Testing. Hello. Yep, you're good. No, 
Thank you. Something else coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we do. We have lots of things. Yes. Okay, at this time now. Well, let's uh, bring out. We have a young woman named Chris D. And her partner, guitar player, Greg. I'm going to let Chris, you want to, I'll let you sit here. This way you can sit next, right next to Mr. Bill. Greg, if you don't mind, I'm going to have you have, you can bring out. Yeah, I'm sure you're. Greg just had a very long drive. He drove, well, I don't know if anybody out there knows, but drove from Lee, Brooklyn? Yeah, from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn to Orange County. And it took you how long? About three and a half hours. Wow. Traffic's terrible, man. Traffic on a Friday night, everybody getting out of the city and coming up, up north. It, it's kind of hard, so, you know, thank you for coming. Thank you for here. coming. I'll look and forward to it. How, so. how far did you have to come? Like 45 minutes. Okay, where do you live? Uh, Warwick. All right. Oh. Okay. Um, now, I didn't get to be in on the uh, whole show last time you were here. Yes. <laughs> so, let me ask a few questions. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Um, how long have you been performing for people? In front um, of people, I, you know what I mean? Like Since I was about 15 years old, so nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Wow. Great. And did, uh, did you just all of a sudden just come up with something one day and just decide this is what I want to do? Yeah, I mean, I had a friend, you know, I don't work with her anymore, but she kind of inspired me and, and showed me that I had a legitimate talent for writing. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful friend. So, well, yeah. Wonderful <laughs> friend. Well, okay. <laughs> Apparently there's a, a sour note there. You know what? <laughs> At the time, I think that it worked for you. It huh? did, yeah. It opened doors, many doors. That's that's very good. And then you started doing things on your own solo, or did you automatically look for somebody else to play with you? I, I tried looking for other people to play with me. Um, it didn't work. I mean, at the time, I was so young, you know. Mm -hmm. And you can't just, like, meet, like, a 25-year-old when you're 15 years old and expect right. them to play for you. It's hard, yeah. You know? So a lot of the times, I just played by myself. I would, like make up music on different things like garage band or different programs that I could find on my computer and I created just different songs and you know a lot of the songs I've created have become popular so oh, okay. popular <laughs> but, like how you mean like among among people that you know you know like, yeah like, like on websites, websites or yeah. stuff like that have you put out a, any YouTube videos or yeah I have one like that? one you have one like one like music video I have yeah yeah well, okay well, what's it called so that if anybody wants to look it up, they can? Um, Distant Shame. Distant Shame. On YouTube by Christy. By Christy. Okay, so now I know what I'm going to look up when I go home. <laughs> yeah. And I'll give you a little comment on it, too. I might have that, yeah, a little thanks. something. Um, all right. And uh, how long have you and Greg been playing together? Since this year. We started, like, mm. really started working together. Yeah. We it, met last year. Okay. Yeah, and it's funny, I don't even remember exactly how. Um, through that... Like, the, oh, band mix. Yeah, oh, that's band, right. The, uh, it was one of the things online to have so musicians can meet each other. And I put out a thing for it. That's what it was, yeah. <laughs> so, you, you put out something? Like asking for like musicians to help me. I think it, okay, I, well that's the only way you're going to get, yeah. Yeah. That's the only way that you'll, you'll get another... Right, music. and he responded right off the bat. That's oh. great. Look, it's, it seemed perfect for me because, like... At the time, like like I write a lot of music and I write a lot of lyrics and everything, but mm. I can't sing a note and I won't. <laughs> so and it, yeah, well, listen, I've tried won't. and that's it's for, that, it, that's listen, it's better for everybody else. <laughs> so, but I do like to write a lot of lyrics and write stuff like that and you know, and at the time I was my old band we would we took a break. Uh, my old band, uh, Deuce Banger, we used to play in the city. You know, Bobby, Rob, and a uh, Pony. If you're out there, <laughs> you know, you know, we had a good time. But we were we were doing our uh, went our separate ways for a little while on good terms. But I wanted to still perform, and we started talking. And you know, to her, her voice, I'm like, wow, 
that might really work with some like the lyrics I wrote because I saw her, I read, oh. heard her songs. I'm like, it's similar to the way I write, similar styles. I so this might work. And then we just kind of uh, got together and just started. Get uh, off similar styles, you know? and you were able to. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it just together. happens. <laughs> that that's nice. I'm, you know, that's kind of how things are with me and Mr. Phil. Um, we have similar styles of being able to talk to people and just being very open with people and. Obviously, it works. Yes. <laughs> yes, obviously it works. That's right. <laughs> we wouldn't have a show together otherwise. Right. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so it, now, um, where have you played recently? Um, the sh- last, the latest? Sugarloaf? Sugarloaf. The Spring Fest? Yeah. yeah, it was the... Yeah, it was the Spring Fest yeah, because the spring. they don't do the it, summer. And yeah. that's just the street... Um, street fair and yeah, it's yeah, it's like a, it's a little festival they do. You know, have stores mm-hmm. open. You know, you can buy stuff. But is that the, like this little, the yeah. thing that I met you at? Yeah, it's the thing that you met me at. They did it again this year. Yep, and Sugar Wolf, I think they do every year. Yep, and I'm going. We're going back. I went last next year month once. to perform. They're doing again another one. Yeah, the fall oh, fest, and we're performing October 9th. Okay, so there you go, fall fest, oh. uh, Sugar Loaf, New York. Um, anybody that's interested, uh, I know their Sugarloaf does have their own um, website, and they, they do have things advertised on there. I've yeah, seen, sugar. I've gone on there before. Yeah, yeah it's, it, look it up, it's and nice. maybe it'll. Will it? Do you, will your name be on there so that, to tell people where to go to look for you? Yeah, Christy, we're performing first, uh, October 9th at 12. And do you know the location in Jabal, which area? Um, it's like it's a because it's a big it's a big street festival. Yeah, so. but it's like a little area and it has like a little stage that they have set up and it's a little park that's shaded. Yeah. Um, and it's it's really hard to miss. You you yeah. really can't you miss want? it. Good. Well, we don't want anybody to go there. So what they're having uh, what are they having that Sunday, October 9th? A fall festival. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so that's uh, musicians. Yes. And they have like crafts. Mm-hmm. You can buy like crafts, and you know. Food and. Yep. Yeah. We want to look. Just a regular street fair. You know, Mary? I'm getting lucky up here. Be, uh, we want to look it. into going to it, maybe. I think we might go. Maybe we'll cool. make an appearance. Yeah, see you. Yeah. Okay. More the merrier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and you know, when you get together and you, you know people on the street, yeah. you tell, find people you know. Yeah, Mary's that's, that's great. Yeah, it's, um, I'm learning all these uh, different areas in New York that I never knew since no. we've been playing. Mm-hmm. And I have to uh, thank uh, uh, my uh, angel of a wife, Lori, for putting up with me Hi, driving Lori. all hey. this time. Hi. So, hi, sweetie, I love you. Thank you for not <laughs> killing me for driving up here again. Wow. <laughs> you know you love it, Lori. But, you know, thank you. Yeah. Now, now, she is a saint. She and puts up with the, You'll see the show lot. in Brooklyn. <laughs> Because yes. we're one of these on. days you're going to go to Brooklyn and we'll actually perform there so yeah. she doesn't have to see me leave with right. 15 things and well, leave the house a mess. So <laughs> just like a gigantic <laughs> piano and just bring it Exactly. Piano. So it's, it breaks down. I mean, yeah. not not as much as, as easy as guitar stand will, but yeah. Right. Now, so. where do you live? I'm in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You're in what part of Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Uh, Bensoners. Okay, oh, because, um, I was going to say, you're all stomping ground? Yeah, I'm born and raised in Brooklyn. Is really? Brooklyn yeah. boy himself, it gets, yes. Because it, it's funny, because when, when I saw you, I'm like, you look so familiar. You look like uh, one of my good friends, Nino. Uh, one of the guys I work with, and you know, this guy, uh, Nino, hey, you look just like him. Oh. And I just, I, I couldn't believe it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny, I, I realized too, because when we were, um, when we were at the Hoboken Film Festival, I had said to you, Danny Ayala looks like, because he was he was given an honor honorary award or something, and I said he looks like somebody from the neighborhood that my mother grew up in, didn't I? Yeah. So I said I have to go talk to him. I gotta go find out where he, if he was I from that area. So. The Ayalos. Yeah, yeah. I know Ricky. I know Tori. Very I went to school with them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> See, my family, um, my mother's family, was all from East Chester, Scarsdale, Yonkers. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All around that area, the, the Bronx, the, where, all where they kind yeah. of interconnect. And it's funny, I say, because I say you notice somebody, you can tell they're from there. Yeah. There's a distinctive look and sound that you, you, <laughs> of you notice as, that's my home style. And it's funny you mentioned yeah. uh, Danny Ayala of old people because um, we were always, because my mother's maiden name is actually Ayala. Oh, wow. And my okay. grandfather, he actually... Had a very, we know, I didn't think we ever were related, but maybe they're distant cousins That's because they did look similar. 
So my grandfather so <laughs> yeah. you never know. Wow. Yeah. Mary walked right up and told every, everybody was keeping it was so funny there. All the <laughs> stars all the stars and everybody, you know, were there all the movie stars from LA and yep. stuff and you know, they're just steady. Mary walks right up to heaven and starts talking to him. Yeah, little me local celebrity, not big celebrity, you know. I mean I'm like this compared to this many people. And uh, well I when I set my mind to something. Yeah. I do it. You're I said, I'm it? going to go over and say hi to Danny because I know he had to have grown up in the area that they did. Yeah. And I've got to ask him. Yeah. And when I, and you know what, I did get to ask him and he did say yes, he did grow up in that area. And he recognized my mother's maiden name as one of the names of people that he grew up with. So that was... That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So I mean, as you travel around and you yeah. go places... I mean, I'm originally from Washington State. Okay, so I bet you can, if somebody else from Washington State's around, they'll probably pick up on, on the different vibe. clues. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've lived here for 15 years now. 15 years? Yeah. Okay. So. You went to school and you did yeah. all that kind of thing yeah. and all that. Oh, what brought you over to the East Coast? Um, my grandfather got really sick and mm -hmm. um, they needed help, so we moved from Washington to New York so we can go and live with them and help take care of my grandmother. While my grandfather was going through everything he went through, unfortunately, he passed away. Oh, um, sorry to hear that. Well, one of the songs that I'm singing tonight um, is dedicated oh. to him. Oh, that's very so. nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's really Right, sweet. so you might as well go up there and... We, we would love to have you guys start playing for us, because that's what we want you on here to do, and showcase great. you guys, and... Perfect. Go knock it out. Thank you, right. Thank you, Thank you guys so All much. Right. Get out of the park. <laughs> the little firecracker. <laughs> we have the little firecracker here. Uh, he likes to embarrass. Four, three, two.
song is dedicated to my late grandfather. It's called Here to Stay.
To what we know as we try to find what we're looking for, and now we are here together, one on one. Breathing in the darkest light, the war begins when it strikes midnight. But the pain is always sweet when we say goodbye, and we'll cry. Just to find everything you try to hide, and we'll fly into the sky as the ashes from our past begin to rise. Now that all my wounds have healed, we both face each other in the field, and we know that no. To decide our fate, it's a hard decision we have to make. But we need to shoot our guns one last time. So we'll cry into the night just to find everything you've tried to hide. And we'll fly. from our past 
true it's very true it gives me time to drink anyway If today I learned I'm dying, could you handle love with fear? If you came home to me crying, would your love suppress my tears? If they said there is no finding, no chance for one more year. If the truth we know is binding, could I trust you will stay here? Give God each time I pray to have me pass with no delay and ask for only one last wish to free the pain I've caused from this. If the devil was found hiding. said no hope for finding would you blame it on my sin if my life erased its timing by destroying what I've been would the knot we planned on tying come undone from what's within I asked of God each time I pray to have me pass with no Continues praying on the God that's disappeared. 
wrote which songs? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I wrote the first one, the second and third. He wrote the one I just sang, which is my personal favorite. So, yeah. Because I said I can't sing a note. So I wrote the lyrics, but she put the feeling into that song. So the last one was called Good Today. Um, the first song that we did was uh, Let Me Be, which she wrote, which is actually one of my favorites. This <laughs> is the first one. And um, we worked on the music for that together. Uh, the second song was absolutely beautiful. That was actually the first time I've heard it because you yeah. ever played it for me. <laughs> so I love that song. And I kept thinking like, well, no wonder she didn't want to share it with me because it's that good. Personal <laughs> song. But th they are a lot, uh, we, that's why we get along. We write very personal. Like the last song that um, she sang, that was something I wrote because thinking about like if I wrote my father, would it would feel like that? Like, you know, if you found out you were sick and something was happening, like what if today, what would happen? So, and that's why we connect on a musical level because we write similar. We put our feelings into our music. And, you know, that's why I love playing with her. Cause she's a phenomenal singer. And I'm lucky enough to have someone who could sing like that behind me. Well, <laughs> it I helps that I have a good guitar chords, player so. with me. So yeah. I'll tell you, I, I, I love the, the lyrics to, to all the songs that you guys just did. Thank and you. Uh, that's why I was wondering who wrote what. Yeah, we write very similar. And, <laughs> you know, that, that's great because this way you do, you have your own style, your right. own signature, and this way you're able to do this. I mean, it's great. That's, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Anything you want to um, I just want to say beautiful job on both of you, and thank you for coming up from Brooklyn, and thank you for coming back to us. And mm -hmm. uh, you could play your this song and play us out, and I just want to say, folks, we'll see you next week, same time, same station. So have a good week. And I also want to remind people for our friends at Greenville VFW on October 15th, they're having another karaoke night. Unfortunately, Phil and I will not be at that one, but we will be at the following one. So we'll let you know when that one's going to be. Anybody that's up in the area, for you in New York City, I don't expect that you're going to be coming up, but I, we understand. And uh, good night to everybody. Thank you for coming. And thank you for coming back again to see us. I'm glad I got to see you this time. I'm glad I got to meet you. <laughs> okay. We're going to leave you alone and let you play us out. Thank you. Slaughtered graves in the sand Do I sit or should I stand? I feel a shadow over me Why can't you just send me?